What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we are at Schumacher Homes Ashland, Ohio location and we are currently standing outside of the Craftsman style version of the Callaway. So let me turn you around and I'll tell you all about it. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,659 square foot, beautiful two story home. And this thing is amazing. Now we did see the traditional farmhouse version of this home earlier on. But with that, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right. So when you first come into this home, this is kind of where you are put inside of this absolutely stunning two-story foyer, beautiful chandelier. Oh man. Then you do have the stairwell going up to the second floor. We're going to go ahead and start over here in the office which is absolutely exquisite. I love the accent wall and how it kind of melds into the ceiling with the exposed beams. Whew. Putting that one on the list. <laughs> so really nice built in and then you have the floating shelves back there too. Nice gray cabinets. And then you have the quartz countertops another beautiful light fixture and the desk I could I could work in here for sure <laughs> and then coming back into the foyer we're gonna go ahead and move forward and we come to our first half bath you have the single vanity and your toilet and your vanity light I do like this bowl right here that's very nice and then you do have a coat closet right here so everybody can hang up their stuff and then again continuing through the foyer down into the basement oh so they do have a nice finished wall down here oh pretty much all of the walls that's nice that's new but behind that, you do have these eight foot tall concrete steel, in, steel reinforced walls. So very nice, plenty of room. And then behind me, you have your water heater and your furnace. So you could definitely finish this off, add a couple more rooms if you wanted to, or, you know, Everybody's looking for space. Anyway, all right, coming back upstairs. And you start entering into your main living area. So really pretty coffered ceilings in your main living room. Really nice gas fireplace with the stone surround. Beautiful light wood mantle kind of matches the floors and pretty much all of the other uh, wood accents throughout the home. Love it. And then coming into the dining room area, which sits in between both the kitchen and the living room. Huge space. I'm definitely a super fan of this floor plan just because, you know, life happens here and there's just just everybody can kind of be together no matter what you're doing you know what i mean and of course if you just don't want to be with anybody well there's the dungeon downstairs and you can go down to the basement and hang out anyway all right coming into your morning room you have a beautiful light fixture a door with access out onto your future patio Put a little stone fireplace out there, a little fire pit. That would be perfection, at least in my book. And then before we get into the actual kitchen itself, in between both the dining room and the living room on the opposite side, you do have your mud room. You have your built-in cubbies with your 
bench. And then you have access to the two car garage. And then from there, you can come even further towards the front of the home into your utility room with washer and dryer hookups, gorgeous tile floor. A lot, a lot of room. Now we'll go ahead and get into the kitchen. Another thing is Schumacher Homes, they have these really amazing kind of design centers that you can go and choose all the different finishes that you want within your home. So if you see this home, you love the floor plan, but maybe you don't exactly like uh, maybe a tile or the floor or the paint or whatever it may be, you can always have that, uh, you know, swapped out. So you have your microwave and your stove with some nice pot and pan drawers down below it. Really nice cabinets. You have accent lights up on top of the cabinets and then you have your recess lights up in the ceiling. Big old stainless refrigerator with the dim on light. And then below that you have your freezer. And then continuing on again, quartz countertops on all of the counter surfaces in here. Lovely backsplash, and then that transitions to like this nice kind of that. I think it matches the the tile in there in the utility room, so that's nice. Gas stove top, stainless range hood, and then I mean the counter space in here. <laughs> it's obscene. There's so much of it. I love it. So. If you do have a dishwasher right here next to your sink, it's a nice apron sink looking out of your back door or back door, back window. You guys, you guys know what I mean. My oh my. And then back behind me, you do have your island and then it transitions into blue right here. Nice navy blue. And then you have some pretty globe pennant lights up above it. Y'all, this trip, it's been a week. I've, we've been on this trip a week. Today's Friday. It's actually the last day. Uh, I stay in a hotel tonight and then we leave, or I leave, I guess I'm the only one here, <laughs> to go um, back to Delaware tonight. But it has been an amazing trip. We've got to see some marvelous homes. Jen lined us up 30 homes. And it has been a whirlwind of a pace and I've, I couldn't be happier. So, man, all right. And then off of the kitchen, you have this pocket office, beautiful picture window, and then you have access onto your porch over here. And then back behind me, you have your walk-in pantry, really nice wood shelves. And the paint, the color palette in this home is very light and airy. I really, I, I'm really into it. So from here, all of your bedrooms are on the second floor and we'll start working our way up there. But anyway, yeah, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, definitely a big thank you to Schumacher for letting us come out here and tour so many of their homes. And then Jen, thank you so much, you know, you, she has done a phenomenal job putting all these homes together and we're getting ready. We might have already gone by the time uh, this one goes up, but we are heading down to Florida pretty soon. So that's exciting. All right. I'll stop talking for a second. We have made it upstairs and this is where all of the bedrooms are. So we'll go ahead and start in the furthest one in the corner. This one sits up towards the front of the house. Really pretty. Again, I love Schumacher, how they decorate all their homes. You do have a closet right here, a nice step-in closet. And then coming out of this room, you have a linen closet. And 
and then you have your single vanity with your vanity light, your toilet, and your shower and tub combo with the tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling and these really nice brass fixtures. And then out of there, you come into your second bedroom. This one sitting at the back of the house. And this one is about the same size as the other one we just walked into. Again, another step-in closet with your two double closet doors right here. I know y'all are already starting to get a glimpse of that master suite and I talked about it outside a little bit, but I've already seen it. This one has one of those big old closets too. So really excited to get in there and show you that. So again, another nice size room, double closet doors in here as well. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm going to hide the closet a little bit. You can't see it. All right. So massive master bedroom. You have the vaulted ceilings up here. Really nice accent wall. Super funky looking light fixture. I like that type of stuff. Kind of something that I'm into. But panning you around, just really nice size room. <laughs> they did it up in this one. Whoo, look at that tub. All right, and then into your shopping mall. <laughs> this thing, gigantic. So this is your walk-in closet. Huge built-ins over here. I might have to set the phone down and kind of walk in here and show you guys, like give you a little bit of a, like feel of the depth of this closet. Huge, and then you even have an island in the middle with cabinetry, plenty of spaces to put some more clothes. Wow. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's see if I can. I'm going to put you guys up here. It's a little different. I don't normally do this, but let's see if I can. This is real world. No editing. So really big space. You know what I mean? This thing is massive. Really nice wood shelves and you got the wood hanging dolls everywhere too, but whew, it's big. All right. I'll grab you back and then we'll get it into this master bedroom, ba bathroom, <laughs> anyway, gorgeous. Tile going all the way up to the ceiling, double vanities, standalone tub, nice soaking tub. And then you do have big old walk-in shower right here too. Again, glass door tile surround and your brass fixtures. The shower tray is also tiled. And then a linen closet right here. And your water closet. This one's nice. I don't know whether I like this one or this one. So you need to go watch that one and let me know what you think. I'm very indecisive. If you want more information on this model or Schumacher Homes, I'll leave that information for you down in the description. And as always, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. My name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.